Greetings. I just wanted to share a little bit with you. Um, it always seems that over the weekends, um, amazing things come up and um, for me and um, life lessons, um, new ways to look at uh, old situations maybe. And um, maybe that's because I do so much ceremony over the weekend and Spirit just speaks in so many ways through so many people in my life. Um, but what I wanted to share with you this morning um, is an abundance prayer. Um, it's something that um, I believe that many, many of us struggle with is that idea of abundance. And not only abundance um, in, in money through monetary means, but ab abundance in the heart, abundance in our lives. And what does that look like? And how does that show up for each of us? And what are our thoughts around it? Um, Ernest Holmes uh, is, uh, was an amazing man and taught um, affirmative prayer. And um, his view of affirmative prayer was that instead of asking, um, begging, or pleading for what it is that we want in our lives and what we want to create and the gifts that we want from spirit, um, that the prayer should come in the form of affirmations in that we pray um, as if we already have it, as if we already know it. We claim it to be ours as if it is. And by doing so, we create and we activate the laws of attraction in the universe from spirit. So what I wanted to share with you this morning is um, an abundance prayer. It is uh, was originally written by Ernest Holmes and I have um, toned it down just a little bit, the, the language, into something that was easier for me to wrap my brain around. So I want to share this with you, um, and hopefully this will connect with you. So forgive me while I read this, um, and uh, I hope that it connects with you in the same way that it connected with me. So take a big deep breath, if you would, and if you want to close your eyes, that's, that's fine. Um, and I want to share with you this abundance prayer. I am surrounded by pure spirit, by God the Creator. My thought is God thought, and it is the law of the universe where it is spoken. Everything that I do is a success. I am led, guided, and inspired by the Creator of life in all things and of right action. I am compelled to move in the right direction and to always know what to do, where, and how to do it. I am surrounded by right action. I am filled with the knowing of right action. Right action is success in all that I do. I am successful in all my doings, and I am compensated for all my efforts. I am surrounded by spirit, which is always taking the form of supply and always manifesting itself to me in the form of whatever my need may be at the time. I always have an abundance of money and an abundance of whatever it takes to make life happy and opulent. There is a continuous movement towards me of supply, of money, of all that I need to express the fullest life, happiness, and action. I have an inner understanding of my place in the universe. I know that it is unique. The divine has incarnated in me perfectly and without compare. I am unique and forever individualized. Therefore, I do not need to imitate anyone or to long for the good that belongs to another. All good is now mine and is now manifest in my experience. I do not compete with anyone, for I am and remain forever myself. This self is united with all selves, but is always an individual and a unique self. There is that in me which all people recognize as worthwhile and desirable, and everyone whom I meet loves this self of mine and recognizes its worth. I draw all toward me, and those whom I can benefit and those who can benefit me are irresistibly drawn toward me. I do not strain, will, or coerce. I know. The truth makes me free from the fear of poverty or bondage and emancipates me from the thought of limitation. I see that money, like everything else that is desirable, must be a spiritual idea. 
and I know that I have this idea right in my mind at this moment. I shall always have this idea of abundance. It is mine and I take it. The opportunity for self-expression and compensation is always open to me and I am at all times compelled to know, accept, and operate upon this opportunity. I have abundance because I am abundance. And so it is. Ahom taquiasan. So I find these words <clears throat> very powerful and I have brought it into my practice um, to say this prayer every day, to say this prayer on a daily basis, to claim for myself my good. And I wanted to share it with you and maybe this is something that will resonate with you and that you can use to claim as your good in your life as you move forward. So I wish you all big love and many blessings.